Okay, so now that we know how to set up our audio interface inside Cubase 5, let's go ahead and put a, a basic session together, uh, just set up a couple of audio tracks the, the correct way. I'm on Windows 7 64 uh, bit home premium. I'm running Cubase 5.5 64 bit. It's the latest update uh, from Steinberg. And I'm using a Pod Studio KB37 as my audio interface. So let's just get a session set up and ready to go. So the first thing we want to do is launch Cubase. Okay, and let's create an empty session. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to Devices and Device Setup. Let's just make sure that our audio interface is detected and it looks good here. So we're good there. Let's go back into Devices, VST Connections. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a, a couple of input buses. And by default, we've got a stereo uh, input bus. Um, and you can see... That right now it's set to send three four but we don't want that we want it set to send one two and now what we want to do is add a new stereo bus so click add bus click ok and it'll automatically add sends three and four to that stereo bus we can take this even further and create four mono buses one two three and four separately so let's do that we're gonna drop this little guy down here select mono click ok and repeat the steps all the way until you get to four mono buses okay our outputs um, uh, bus our outputs in the VSC connection panel they look good uh, you get two outputs by default and that's fine we're gonna leave that as is so this is the correct way to set up your inputs and outputs in Cubase when you're using this interface um, you probably will depending on the interface you're using if you have something like a UX8 you're obviously gonna want to create more um, sends because uh, that device has more channels so let's close this out and click on the project button in Cubase we're gonna add um, a couple of tracks the first track I'm gonna add is just a stereo track so you wanna hover over add track and go to audio and under configuration you see that it's stereo you can select from mono or stereo but we're gonna stay with stereo click on add track and as you can see here here's where our our inputs um, we're gonna have these selections for inputs so at the moment we're just gonna keep it stereo in stereo out you can go back and add a mono track and in the mono track you see how it says mono in here and here are our mono options stereo out uh, so now at this point, all you have to do is just, you know, route your audio from whatever source uh, uh, and arm your track and you're ready to go.